Which contender do you wish or do you hope will be aggressive as the trade deadline approaches? I'll start off with the defending Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles. I felt like their loss was the worst of any teams last week. You could talk about the Titans, how bad their loss was, the Giants. The Eagles were up 17 points in their building as defending champions and lost. And, you know, the Super Bowl hangover has been something we've been talking about a lot. The Super Bowl hangover. Okay. It's like, you know, you get excited. They were all writing books. They were all having a blast. I bring that over to London. All right, okay. go on. So I've got right here what I call what is that? a vitamin. Okay, right? vitamin. Yeah. not a vitamin. A vitamin. I love how they say that. I asked our wonderful hairstylist, Emma. I said, Emma, what do you call it when you have a big night out? And she said, you're going on the Raz. The Raz? Oh, you're okay. going on the Raz. You mean going on a bender? Going on a bender. Oh, boy, here the we go. The Eagles okay. went on the Raz. 7 5 a.m. So what do you do? You mean all off season? All off season. The okay, they're on the rack. Yes. 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 Give it a victory tour. Celebrity. This is Life. called a vitamin. You put it in your drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's fizzy. It fizzes up. <laughs> okay. It's on the Raz. Go on, go Eagles, on. this is for you, Eagles fans. You shake it up. <laughs> shake it up. And right now, shake up things. Is when we get better. Oh. And we heal. Oh. The Eagles need to make a move. Patrick <laughs> Peterson is on the block. There are a lot of Raiders that can be had. The Eagles need to do what they did last year when they went and got Jay okay. Ajayi. They need to okay. find their groove. This weekend, they play the Jaguars. If they lose, it could be all you, she's wrote. Can you pour some in mine before you do? I'll oh. give you some of that. I'll give you some. Hey, now. This stuff. Hey, now. That's called hair of the dog. Perfect that's for the it, Eagles. Exactly. <clears throat> but for all seriousness, the Eagles need to be players right now because that's what Howie Roseman made his bones on last year, and they need to get going with it. No more on the Raz. It's already October. We're almost in November. Let's get it going. Take a vitamin. <laughs> no more Bindas. How about it, Peter? Um, I'm going to look at a very, very American team. I'm going to look at the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> Packers right now just feel like they're kind of just floating. They're just sitting there without an identity. And I feel like something's coming for this team. Good, bad, otherwise. Even their record feels like it's counting down to something. Three, two, one. Yeah. What are you? I'll tell you what they are. <laughs> True. They're a huge, huge underdog going to the Rams this weekend. So let's say the Packers lose. You're kidding. Three, three, and one. Eight and a half points. Then they're in the bye week, all right? Midlife. And I look at the Packers, right? The Packers, Packers are about 47. They got a really good job. That's Rodgers. They're a little puffy. They're a little chubby. They got kids running around, and most of the nights with their wife and with handing them a remote, a dry kiss, and a little rollover, just like that. <laughs> That's how the nights end. I wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> they need a splash. They need a splash. They need to be skydiving, bungee jumping, start a vineyard, do something to get your groove back. I'm talking Le'Veon Bell trade. Mm. I'm talking Patrick oh. Peterson trade. Something to wake this team up because, guys, after the bye, they're going to New England. Then they're going to Seattle. This is going to be when we find out if the greatest player in this game, Aaron Rodgers, has the greatest family and the greatest life. Do some CrossFit. Do a cord cut. Whatever. Keep NFL Network. But they need something <laughs> to get their groove back. Yeah. And I think they could trade for it, Kate. You know what I'm saying? Some sizzle. Some a little sizzle. bit of they need sizzle. That, they need that red sports car. Yeah, they need to go on the Raz. T-top <laughs> Trans Am. They're Jesus. <laughs> They're in like a weird purgatory, and I think we're all yeah. disappointed because they shouldn't be. We know how talented Aaron Rodgers is. We want to see him deep into the playoffs, if not make it all the way to the Super Bowl. So I totally agree with you. Get him some of that vitamin. That's what I'm yeah. saying, right? Well, for me, I'm looking at the Jaguars. Okay. And the Jags are one of those teams that last year, they found themselves. All of a sudden, they became one of the more popular teams. It's similar to me right now raising a 14-year-old boy. Nate right. is, is going into high school, and he's finding himself. But there's times where I see he looks at himself as still that little kid. And I'm like, no, no, you're about to be a man. Mm. In four years, you'll be 18 and out of my house. I need you to start looking at yourself like that. I don't need you to talk yourself into being a man. Just learn about life, and when you get there, you'll know it. it seems like the Jaguars, they talk themselves into believing that they were the man. Mm -hmm. Like they were the big dogs. Mm -hmm. Like they were ready to conquer their jungle. Only to realize that they're still little cubs. So I feel like these guys need to shake things up, just like we're all saying here. And I mentioned yesterday, you go ahead and send Blake Bortles to the Saints. You get Bridgewater to come to the Jags. It's the perfect situation. Yeah. Now you Mid got Bridgewater. Mid-season. Mid-season. Now you got Bridgewater, who's intelligent, been in three systems, three different years, so you know he has the high IQ. He's going to be able to run that offense, and you get him for a cheap price because he still is dealing with that injury looming over his head. Blake Bortles goes to the Saints. He sits behind a legend, learns from Drew Brees. Mm -hmm. It's never too late to learn. And you put him in a position where he has to fight for his job again with Taysom Hill, who True. we know they love with the Saints. And you work in a draft pick or two right there. I feel like everybody wins, and I love Blake Bortles. And the reason I'm saying, listen, you might need a new a new place. You Bridgewater, might need a Bridgewater new is one thing. Would you go for Eli if you're the Jaguars? Would you trade for Eli? Oh, come on. No. Why? What, what, what about... Eli's play. Two Super Bowl rings and veteran experience. Mm -hmm. You'd rather okay. have Bridgewater than Eli? Uh, listen, I'd rather have a young player 
who might be just a tad bit more mobile with that knee injury mm -hmm. over Eli. I think I'd rather have Bridgewater than Eli. What do mm -hmm. you think? I think a Jaguars team that has all the pieces on defense and doesn't have that veteran leader under center, I would maybe go with Eli and say, just take us there through the playoffs. Isn't there a sense, too, from Marone? That I'm not here for this BS. I feel like Marone is over he's it. He's over it. He's not in love with Bortles, never has been, and he's not ashamed of hiding it either. He benched him in the middle of a game, so I think they're capable of anything. You know what else is cool about London? Hmm. Is that in America, when you bring up the Patriots, whether it's on Good Morning Football or on the street or at a bar, it's, eh, the Patriots, they always win. People in London love the Patriots. They, they love the champions. Oh, I've seen more <laughs> Brady jerseys than anything okay, cool. over here across the pond. So I will say the Patriots, and I, and I will not get any grievances from anybody in this building or in the city on a beautiful River Thames, that they should go get some help on defense. Right, they okay. need a corner. Because people are sleeping on the fact that they're giving up 300 yards a game passing like pretty much every week the past three. And you're looking at even just back to last year and that Super Bowl against the Eagles. They have defense, they had offense, the Eagles did, but they got lit up. They got totally lit up. If they had another corner, like a Patrick Peterson, yeah. just say, okay. uh, out, there. Yeah. out there, like on their squad, they would be built, they'd be built to go. I don't have they've to They've done it. They, 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 they signed, you know, Darrell Revis. They made yes. a big move. Yeah. They've done it in the past. Done it but to me, it's not even about the past. It's about right now because you're telling me they were supposed to go up against one of those offensive, high octane, high powered situations brewing in the NFC and be able to stop them. They're going to need another corner. So I hope that they go out and get help. Yeah. So